I'm Cara Vordman and welcome to Perfect Ten. And guess what? It is Friday. Oh, yeah, the weekend beckons. But before that, there's just enough time to get the cogs of your brain turning with 10 more questions to educate, to entertain and to irritate you as ever 10 minutes is all it takes and i reckon after this you will head into the weekend feeling 10 times smarter it's all about the 10 10 questions 10 points all done in just 10 minutes as ever 10 points on offer today and if you've joined us every day this week you should start feeling your mind getting totally toned up by now make sure you subscribe you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops next Monday. And you can find us on Facebook, Insta and TikTok for exclusive bonus questions and content to see you through the weekend. Don't forget, head on over to our website, perfect10.uk to sign up to our newsletter for that exclusive content, competitions and all the latest from Perfect 10 HQ right here. So before we roll out today's puzzles, here's the answer to yesterday's anagram. No points available. I asked you, which British genius is an anagram of A. Knight's nephew? That's Knight's with the letter K. He is, of course, Professor Stephen Hawking. Well done if you got that right, but no points for anagrams. That was just something to keep you thinking between yesterday's show and right now. Right, let's crack on with today's questions, shall we? For the last time this week, let's play Perfect 10. Question one is your starter for a Perfect 10, so let's get a point under that belt of yours. What is the capital of Australia? Nice easy one for Friday, I think. Or is it? Who knows? Question two is our hearsay round, so listen up. Tell me, which well-known phrase or saying is hidden in this sound clip? Barclays! Nat West! Santander! Lloyds! Hear, say, say what you hear, and you can't go far wrong. Which phrase is hidden in those sounds? Question three is Carol Lateral Thinking, so take a look at this sequence. What comes next in this sequence of letters? J, A, S O N. What's next? Question four puts your ability to retain information to the test as it is our memory game. And to round off the week, as ever on a Friday, let's head back into the Perfect Ten kitchen. Listen up because after this clip, I'll have a question to see just how much you can remember. Oily fish is a great source of vitamin D, so why not serve up this spicy fillet with a cooling chutney? A healthy main meal the whole family can enjoy. You'll need four fillets of rainbow trout, 500 grams of new potatoes, a tablespoon of tandoori curry paste, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one garlic clove, and 320 grams of frozen peas. Oh, now that sounds like just my kind of food. Anyway, I hope you were listening because here comes the question. What kind of fish does this recipe recommend? It's all there in the clip. But can you remember the information you need to answer the question? That's the point, really. Don't forget to send us your riddles and puzzles to at Perfect and Carol on Insta and Facebook. And then we love testing the rest of the Perfect Ten family with those. Right, moving on. Time for questions five, six, and seven, the three F's, frivolous, familiar, and fun. Here's question five. Which Beatles song includes the line, when I was younger, so much younger than today? <laughs> I'm singing it myself, that's the earworm for today. <laughs> Moving on now to question six. In the Ralph Lauren logo, with which hand is the polo player holding their mallet? Hmm, one of the most famous brands in the world. We've all seen the polo player. But can you remember, with which hand are they holding the mallet? Question seven now, and it's everyone's favourite yellow family. What does the J stand for in Homer J. Simpson? Question eight is one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word bond, B-O-N-D? to get the name of an Irish musician and singer. Question nine is called, I know, I know this. 
because you've probably got the answer locked away somewhere. And since it's Friday, let's have another song, shall we? Oh, yes. Here we go. Where it began, I can't begin to knowing. But then I know it's growing strong. Are lyrics to which song? Come on, you absolutely know this. Sing it out if it helps. And look, here we are at question 10, the final question of the week. And as is tradition here on Perfect 10, it's a riddle. Two people are born at the exact same moment, but they don't have the same birthdays. How? Curious. Mm -hmm. A tricky one to end the week, I must say. Well, I hope that hasn't fried your circuits this Friday. The answers are coming up. So if you need to rewind and pause, now is the time to do so. I will wait until you're ready and then we'll go through the answers together. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's questions and follow us on socials for exclusive daily content. Get your scorecards ready. And if you haven't already got one, head on over to our website, perfect10.uk to download yours for free, of course. And while you're there, sign up to the Perfect 10 newsletter to be the first to know about all things Perfect 10. But now it's time to find out if you scored a Perfect 10 and more importantly, whether you scored a Perfect 50 this week. Here come the answers. Question one we started with, what is the capital of Australia? Well, I'm sure that a lot of you might have said Sydney or Melbourne, the two biggest cities, of course, in Australia, or even Brisbane. But the answer is Canberra. That's a classic pub quiz question. So next time it comes up, you can impress everyone with the right answer. Tell them you heard it here on Perfect 10. The capital of Australia is Canberra. Question two. Hearsay round, I asked which phrase was hidden in these sounds. Barclays. Nat West. Santander. Louis. The answer was break the bank or breaking the bank. Congratulations if you got that one right. Question three, Carol Lateral Thinking. What comes next in this sequence of letters? J. A S O N what? Well, the answer is the letter D, and this is why. J for July, A for August, S for September, O for October, N for November, and finally, of course, next in the sequence, December, so it's the letter D. We move on to our next round, the memory round. Of course, it's Friday, so it's all about food, and here is a recipe for fish. But I asked you, what kind of fish does this recipe recommend? And the answer in the clip was rainbow trout. Oh, I love rainbow trout. Well done if you remembered that. And even better if you can send me some. Into the three Fs, frivolous, familiar and fun questions. Question five and the first of two sing-along questions today. Which Beatles song includes the line, when I was younger, so much younger than today? And the answer is help. No, I'm not in danger. The answer is help by the Beatles. The song was written for the 1965 film of the same name, Help, and became one of the Fab Four's staple songs. And in an interview in 1970, John Lennon said that of all of the songs that he had written, Help was one of his favourites. Question six. In the Ralph Lauren logo, with which hand is the polo player holding their mallet? And the answer is the right hand. Question seven, what does the J stand for in Homer J. Simpson? The answer is in fact J, as in the word J-A-Y, said as J. Question eight was one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word bond to get the name of an Irish musician and singer? Well, if you change the letter D to get another letter O, you get the lead singer of U2, Bono, B-O-N-O. Question nine was, I know I know this, but did you? I asked where it began. I can't begin to knowing, but then I know it's growing strong. (gasps) The lyrics to which song? Of course, it's Sweet Caroline. God, everyone, have a little sing song today. We're bringing the Friday feeling to perfect 10. (gasps) Sweet Caroline. And finally, question 10, your final daily riddle of the week. Two people are born at the exact same moment but they don't have the same birthdays. How is this? Well, they were born in different time zones is the answer. 
They were born at the exact same moment, but according to the clock where they were born, they were born on different days. Whew, what a mind melter to end the week on. Well done, Perfect Tenors. You've done it. We've done it together. That's Friday's Perfect Ten in the bag. Give yourselves a big old pat on the back. So what was your score this week? Better than last week? Don't hesitate to get in touch, please, on our socials because we really want to find our top score. Actually, we just love any contact from you. We love your photos. We love we love your stories. We love the videos that you're sending us, all of it. We're part of the same family. And also, you can let us know in comments, tag us on social media, at Perfect Ten Carol, with photos of your scorecards. That would be a nice thing to do. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our podcast and follow us on YouTube and across all of our social media channels so you don't miss out on next week's shows or any of our exclusive bonus questions. Right, I'll be back on Monday with a whole new week of Perfect 10 Questions, so join me then, please. I can't wait until then. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was the last of this week's Perfect 10s. I hope you have a perfect weekend.